Peeps, Kenny Molotov here at home. I just really wanted to quickly stop before we do the video and let you guys know we hit a milestone this weekend. We just hit 2,000 subscribers. I'm super excited, super stoked, super happy. I can't believe this actually finally happened. We waited a little bit more than a year for this to actually take place. I just wanted to let you know before we get to vlog 50, what a great pleasure and what a great honor it is that you guys really enjoy watching the vlogs, watching my day full of plumbing. I never really expected plumbing to have such a good following and such a strong community, but that it seems to be what we're building here. And I just want to let all of you know, I cherish you dearly. You make this way easier for me. There was a long duration of time where I was uploading videos and I wasn't getting any sort of response. So I just want to send my love out to you guys for sending your love out to me. Thank you guys so much for all your support, all your comments, all your jokes, all your questions that you ask. I really feel feel honored that you want to come to me and ask me all these questions and see what my opinion is on all these things. It makes being on this planet with all you peeps really special to me and I just want to say I really appreciate you guys. Peeps, thanks for watching as usual. Here's vlog 50 and this is to another 2,000 subscribers. Let's go. Good morning, peeps. Welcome to another vlog. We got a bunch of service work to do today. I'm gonna go out to a couple of job sites to get some things done, and you guys are coming along with me. Let's go. So dad's already gone out to the next job site. What I have to do now is get in the truck, grab some supplies, and of course get to our job sites that we're hired to do today. Alrighty peeps, so I definitely have a toilet to install, but I also have to go out to a job site I was at yesterday. I sort of ran into a moment where I didn't have enough time to finish the job because the truck would have been towed off the road. There are certain roads in downtown Toronto that between the hours of 4 and 5 p.m. you're not allowed to park there anymore, so I had nowhere to park. I finished the drain yesterday, but I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a more thorough job and essentially get that sorted out. Oh, and by the way, peeps. You know what to do, baby. Let's go do a bunch of plumbing. So peeps, uh, these glasses right here, as you can see, are a little bit cracked. They've been cracked for a really long time. So I eventually decided to go out and get a new pair. And these are the ones that I think I'm gonna be substituting the old ones with. So they treated us well. They were a great pair of sunglasses. I'm gonna officially retire them. And as of today, these are the bad boys you're gonna see. So let's get to work. Let's get a steep tea in us first. And let's commence with a whole day of plumbing.
Alrighty, so just finished the toilet up. One thing I wanted to let you guys know about, I used the old washers and the old nuts from the previous toilet, and I do this a lot, and I secure the new bolts to the flange using those from the old toilet. And the reason why I do that is because the hardest thing to do is install a toilet while those bolts are free floating. So what I mean by free floating is, is that they're not secured to the flange itself. Now I used to do this a hundred million times before early on in my apprenticeship and it would just be a pain in the butt and it would take me way longer to install a toilet just because of this. So what I do is secure the new nuts to the flange. That way you can put the toilet down on the flange and even if you hit those bolts you are still good to go because they're not moving anywhere that's one little thing that I learned over the years in my apprenticeship so we're off to go do a kitchen sink let's go Okay, peeps, I just got called into another job, and before I show you what's going on, I just wanna to talk to you very quickly about this guy right here. This is a replacement to a Toto flapper. Now, what you're gonna notice is, is that new Toto toilets, if you lift up the lid, it'll actually have the part number of the Toto flapper in huge lettering that's bold, which just goes to show you that even Toto is aware that their flapper tends to deteriorate quite quickly, so they, they provide the part number really easily to the individuals but we're about to go replace these things the problem is is they're hard to find on the market uh, so you got to actually ask to get these ordered in uh, typically from our supplier at least but like any other flapper they're pretty easy to install takes 10 to 15 minutes if that and that's what we're about to do let's go <laughs> 